Namaste. Good morning. Today we have sharing by Dr. Achan Chandrakalaji. She is a professor in uh, Kalpataru Institute of Technology, Tiptu, Tumkur, Karnataka. And uh, she has joined this USB introductory workshop in October 2022. And she has been actively participating in the weekly meetings and the morning meetings thereafter. Along with Nirmal Devi Ji, she is handling the USB program in her college also. She has asked several questions in the morning sessions, which are enriching to every one of us. So with this brief introduction, let me invite HN Chandra Ji to give her sharing in the morning session. Over to you, Chandra Ji. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the nice introduction. And uh, Namaste. Namaste Sharmila Titi, Namaste Sunil Bhaiya, and Namaste to all my dear co-explorer. Very good morning to everyone. I am H. N. Chandrakala, Professor and Head in the Department of Chemistry, Kalpatra Institute of Technology, Tiptur, Tumku District, Karnataka. I have a 25 years of teaching experience in the same institute. About my family, my husband is agriculturist and I have one daughter. She is pursuing her degree. We are living at Tiptur. I have two younger brothers and one younger sister. My father is also agriculturist. I lost my mother at the age of five years and my mother-in-law in the year 2014. After I completed my master's degree, I joined KIT as a lecturer in the year 1997. Later, in the year 2007, I was registered for PhD degree. At the time, my daughter was at the age of seven years. I planned that I can finish my doctoral degree within three to four years. Because of some problems, it was prolonged to seven years. So I did not give a quality time to my daughter in her childhood. It pricks me a lot to this day. At the same time, I undergone a sleep disc and doctors were warned me to take care of my health. In the same year only, my mother-in-law got paralyzed and after two months later, she passed away. She loves me a lot and I also loved her. But because of my research work submission, I was not able to take care of her last moments. These two incidences pain me a lot. My inner voice said that I am not traveling in the right path. Later, I went through one yoga program and I rejuvenate my body a little bit and get an essence of calmness within me. But further, again with the routine work, I got fed up. In the last year, 2022, 10th of October, I was started my journey with the UHV. When I joined for the UHV 1 faculty development program, my intention was to learn the UHV content to teach for first year BE students in the student induction program Deeksha Ramba. In UHV 1 faculty development program, I understood the importance of the UHV content for the faculty, students, and in the present education system. After I joined for the morning sessions, my exploration started, self-exploration started. I was attending all the sessions without missing a single class. Move on to the exercise one and two. Every human being is a coexistence of self and the body. Body is a material unit and has a definite conduct and fulfillment. Self is a conscious unit and self uses body as a tool. In exercise one, self is observing the self in every moment. Step one is observing my imagine, imagination, desire, thought and expectation. In the beginning, I can able to observe only the thoughts. Later, I am able to notice the feeling behind the thoughts. When I sit for observation, sometimes I flow with the thoughts and also shifting one thought to another. 
For example, when I observe in the thought of purchasing furniture for my home, if I go with the thoughts, it continues like how much money I need, color, design, like that. Behind this thought, I have feeling. I want to decorate my home. That is the desire. It develops this thought. In the beginning, I can able to observe the thoughts only when I sit in one place and pay attention. Now, I able to observe the thoughts while I am doing my activity with my attention. In step two, is the feeling that you have a have at this moment is naturally acceptable to you? Most of the thoughts I have I have during my activity are naturally acceptable. By the time of by the time I feel comfortable and happy. Sometimes my thoughts are not in line with the, my natural acceptance. Then I have feeling of opposition. I feel discomfort. For example, last week in the home, in my home, cooking stove was not working. So I asked my husband to take care, take this to servicing. This work was postponed for four to five days. It caused irritation within me because I have a position feeling that he is always postponed the work not understand my problem. This feeling of opposition made me unhappy. From earlier, I have an habit to repeatedly say to do work or alerting that today we have to do this work to remind everyone. This behavior irritated him a lot. Now, I stopped to saying any work, reminding his duties. He is doing his work neatly and better than earlier. Disharmony in the family is reduced. Now, I feel bad about my behavior. I thought that I could plan well. Now I see it was reflection of my ego. In step four, who decide the feeling? Definitely, I decide the feeling. Earlier, I thought I am a cool person. Other people and outside situation make me unhappy. Now, I understood that my happiness is in my hand. I keep myself happy or unhappy at any moment. One of my colleagues in ease always made comment about my work. Last week, I took initiative to prepare a consolidated internal assessment marks and prepare a format to send I am asked to the student's parents. He said that you only declared you are the coordinator for the first year. It should be done by the principal. I am not respond or react about his comment. And check my feeling. My feeling is not shy. No opposition feeling also. This is an important step for me. Earlier, I suffered days and months together with the opposition feeling, resentment about that person. I also avoid such people. I never saw them in relationship. Now, this is the big relief for me. In step five, on the basis of, sorry, on what basis do I decide my feelings? Am I deciding the feeling on the basis of right understanding? or preconditioning, or assumption, that is lack of right understanding. Whenever I decide about any person or things, I decided on the basis of my accumulated knowledge and experience. Initially, I take most of my decision from my preconditioning rather than with my right understanding. This leads to uncomfortableness within me. If I want to quote an example, when, whenever I assign any work to our hostel manager, she does not completed her work on time. 
sometime it make make me to receive the complaint from the parents and the students day before yesterday i got a call from kalpatru vidya samsthe office to prepare all our document for verification for internal audit the first thought that came to my mind was she will delay to complete the work i ha- i have to told her to prepare i observe my feeling by the time the feeling of fear this feeling is not naturally acceptable so i feel unhappiness discomfort within me because i decided this feeling with my previous experience and preconditioning mind here i have to develop my competence in step 6 which feelings are naturally acceptable to you i understood that feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable to me feeling of opposition is not naturally acceptable to me feeling of harmony is naturally acceptable to me feeling of disharmony is not naturally acceptable to me feeling of coexistence is naturally acceptable to me in coexistence other human beings is similar to me my brother son is staying in home for his 10th board i check my feeling always can i take care of him like my own daughter yes i am doing with my good feeling move on to the exercise 2 self is observe the body and observe the interaction between the self and the body step 1 in exercise 2 observing the body by the self when i pay attention i can able to observe the sensation in the body and also observe the definite conduct nature of the body through the sensation i can feel the presence of my body through the feeling i can feel the presence of myself so i am there and body is also there self can read the body sensation through the interaction and it is only exchange of information self is not reading all the sensation of the body whichever is significant or important for it that is only read in step 3 i can observe that self is the decision maker self is the observer self is the doer and self is the experiencer when i ate a food who is the enjoyer either my body or a self i observe that self is enjoy the taste of the food experience the pleasure and self is the decision maker it gives an instruction to express the feeling through the body in step 4 i can observe the distance between the self and the body self i observe the sensation going on in the body my knee pain lower back pain numbness etc self observe as a pure observer from this i understood that if i am in the sensation i cannot observe so i am not the sensation i am not in the sensation i am at the distance from the sensation in step 5 self can read sensation from the body and give the meaning to it one among this is the effect of behavior of the other person for example few days back i received a call at night from hostel one of north indian student is not feeling well well she had a breathing problem severe breathing problem by listening those words through my ears and my body the self gives the meaning to it she is a north indian girl her parents are far away from this place immediately i should take care of her the meaning i give to the words which 
I hear is based on my sanskar. My body also gets its sensation from outside world, that is heat or cold, etc. When self reads cold sensation through the body, self decides and give instruction to my body to wear a sweater to protect my body from the cold. So I wear a sweater when I go out. I can also observe the the events happening within the body, like my knee pain, backache, etc. If I am in the home and I am free, I tend to the pain. Suppose same sensation I observe in the college when I am taking the classes. I ignore the sensation and continue the class because at that moment. the class is class is the priority for the self or for me the step 7 to see i and my body in space and interaction between the them through the space i am not competent enough to experience this step through this uhv content and experiential observation i wish to share i am calm and composed compared i am developing a competence to do my work without struggling i can put my proposal in the family and in the working place in a better way my relationship with family members and others are harmonious and comfortable i can see more clarity about purpose of my life i am getting what i am searching for i have to travel to long way with the with the guidance of uhv team coming to my commitment towards myself and society i have to explore self realization continue my journey through uhv imbibe uhv values in my personal and professional life accordingly i wish to work with the uhv team as a volunteer with this i would like to thank sharmila didi kumar bhaiya from my bottom of my heart i would like to thank all the co explorer and all the uhv team members my gratitude to my family members and my institute who is supporting for my excellence my special thanks to my friend nirmala for joining hand to move in the journey of uhv thank you thank you one and all i thought chandrakala ji your sharing was really nice very good to hear um the exploration that is happening within you is very obvious from your sharing and you could relate the points in the exercise to various incidents in life to your feelings to how you are progressing from the time you started and i think in a very short time you are able to experience a lot of change a lot of calmness in you from your sharing it appears and that's uh, very credible perhaps from your previous good sanskars also and of course your own effort now and i think whatever um, feelings of guilt or um, what happened in the past when you think back about what you didn't do the way i think one can look at it is that whatever we thought was right at that time we did to the best of our ability as per our understanding at that time and now as the understanding is growing as we are able to see more and more and we can reflect on what can be done it is best to just you know because the past has already happened like you said you can't go back and change those things important is to see what we can do about it now so like you mentioned you know taking yeah. care of your father 
i would say taking care of any elder person yeah, even though your mother or mother in law may not be there so being able to um do something for another because the relationship is there we may not be able to see it yeah. but if we can work for that yeah. you will find that one immediately you know you will have the right feeling and you can feel the comfort within when you do it and of course when that feeling is expressed to the other the other also becomes comfortable yes and that also gives you um more happiness again so what little we do or what kind of feeling we harbor we get the reward back many more times many fold more and you can see it happening from the very moment that you have that feeling okay. you experience the happiness so i think um past being past if we can focus on the present and we can see our participation our role our responsibility now then slowly we get out of those old sanskars or going back into thought processes which lead us to that same feeling of grief or fear or any of these naturally uh, feelings that are not naturally acceptable to us and i'm saying that not just for you many people suffer say the loss of a loved one or um this feeling of inadequacy that we didn't do enough in the past and i think one of the best ways to come out of it is just to focus on the present and see what we can do right now with the people who are there around us mm-hmm. how much we can do um and how much we can have uh, you know experience the right feeling within us and see the impact of that not only on us but also the expression of that outside and how it leads to happiness in the other so that part if we focus on slowly these other thoughts which are not naturally acceptable will start fading away because the feeling will be uh, predominantly one of sharing and giving and the sanskars that were driving the previous feelings which you know you are in the process of changing each time you go through this now you come out of those cycles of thinking like you mentioned you know so yeah yeah ma'am yeah all go through those like in the process of evolution we may have spent a lot of time just um thinking about things that were not done right in the past or mm-hmm. something that was uh, resentful in us mm-hmm. and we tended to keep going back into those uh patterns of thinking because of whatever previous impressions we had yeah and slowly as we change these patterns of thinking within us when we start you know making effort for having the right feeling slowly those impressions are being replaced by these impressions which are um with feelings that are naturally acceptable so these become our sanskars and now these are in line with the natural acceptance so those will eventually fade away the less attention we give to those the better so i would say focus on the now and what we can do now and um you mentioned about volunteering so many people have offered uh, you know tara prasanna ji's um, messages are there in the chat also priya ji is another person who uh, you can speak to regarding the volunteering activities even though she is not from karnataka but um 
uh, she can probably guide you regarding the volunteering and also of course there are many people in karnataka like there was talk about the other day padmaja ji and so many others who are involved in this um, translation of the uhv work into uh, you know uh, karnataka language and so many many uh, possibilities are there based on the time available to you and what is uh, you know what you think you can where you can contribute best in, in a manner that is comfortable for you you yes. can choose the volunteering activity of your choice yes uh, so um, all the very best of wishes to you thank you madam thank you very much thank you very much ma'am.